Today, I'm making a video in response to a very specific and fundamental question that I've been asked on more than one occasion, actually. And that question is, what exactly is Starhopper? Well, we're gonna answer that question in a very comprehensive manner right now. So to answer the question, what is Starhopper, we really need to start with the reason why Elon Musk decided to get involved in space exploration to begin with. Elon began with a desire to inspire the American people, and to be more specific, he wanted to put a greenhouse on Mars and then take a picture of its green plants against the red Martian background as a means to energize American citizens. Oh my god! The ultimate idea being that the people would then hopefully pressure their elected government officials to fully fund NASA to send people to Mars and start a Martian colony. Originally I was not going to start a rocket company. I wanted to do a philanthropic mission uh, to send a small uh, greenhouse to the surface of Mars so you'd have this amazing shot of green plants on a red background. And I thought that would really inspire the public. And if the public got inspired about, uh, about sending light to Mars, then they would uh, tell their the senators and congressmen to uh, appropriate more money for NASA so that we could do that. So in 2001, Elon took a trip to Russia to purchase himself a used rocket. But they gouged their prices and quite literally laughed him out of the country. First of all, the Russians really started charging, wanted to charge me way, way more than I could afford. I should, they wanted to charge me more money than I had. So what did he do about it? Well, he started his own rocket company a year later and named it Space Exploration Technologies, or SpaceX. But by this time, his desire shifted from inspiring Americans to support NASA to revolutionizing space technology with the ultimate goal of enabling people to live on other planets. But taking people to Mars means you need a large rocket, and smaller companies don't tend to build such big rockets. So SpaceX started off with their relatively small Falcon 1, although it was still a two-stage orbital class vehicle. After three failed attempts to reach orbit, Musk and SpaceX managed to scrape together parts for a fourth and final attempt. And in 2008, with the company's future at stake, it worked. After the success of this fourth launch of the Falcon 1, SpaceX began receiving millions of dollars in contracts from NASA, the US military, and other payload manufacturers looking to put their satellites and cargo into space. With this money, SpaceX developed a bigger rocket, the Falcon 9. All the while, Elon kept in mind that in order to sustainably and efficiently send people to other planets, reusable rockets would be required. So, so the pivotal breakthrough that that's necessary, uh, that some company has to come up with to, to make life multi-planetary is a fully and rapidly reusable orbit-class rocket. So in 2011, SpaceX began working on a Falcon 9 prototype. Named Grasshopper for its short hop-like flights, this low-altitude rocket was designed to test the dynamics and complex systems required of an orbital-class booster returning from space and retropulsively landing on a pad. Now stay with me. The reason why I started with the very inception of SpaceX was to get you to this point in time. So keep Grasshopper in mind as we continue on, because I'm gonna mention it again here really soon. But moving on through the timeline, as recently as 2016, SpaceX began designing a much larger launch vehicle and spacecraft to take people to Mars, and they called it the Interplanetary Transport System, or ITS. However, just one year later, the vehicle was scaled down, redesigned, and renamed to Big Falcon Rocket, or BFR. Then another year later, the rocket was changed again. Redesigns were made, and the name was changed to the Starship and Super Heavy. Starship for the spacecraft, Super Heavy for the booster. But this time the vehicle was scaled back up to what you would call a happy medium or just right porridge. Now when you think of rocket development, you're probably used to thinking in terms of years, if not decades, needed to do the design and construction of these awesome space vehicles. Well, I've got some awesome news to share with you. SpaceX has already begun building the orbital class Starship down in Boca Chica, Texas. And another one is beginning construction at Cape Canaveral, Florida. At this time, both spacecraft and booster are expected to be tested flown by the end of 2020. And if that's still not soon enough for you, SpaceX has already completed the first major phase of the Starship prototype vehicle nicknamed Starhopper. Did you remember to remember Grasshopper? Well, SpaceX has built the equivalent test rocket for Starship. And at the time of this recording, the first Raptor engine has already been installed on the hop vehicle and is ready for its first burn. If all systems remain nominal, Starhopper will begin hopping before the season is out. We no longer have to be excited about the future of space travel because there's plenty to be excited about here in the present. And if we're really gonna be honest with each other, it all boils down to one man's refusal to give up. And yes, Elon is not perfect but neither are we. And I don't agree with him on everything, but I don't have to, and neither do you. But as a teacher, I feel compelled to encourage everyone watching this to take that same resolute mentality and apply it to the circumstances surrounding your own life. Change the world, he did. So that's my little rundown on what exactly Starhopper is and where it came from. I hope you found this little bit of information helpful. And if you did, please do me a solid and hit that like button. If you want to catch my weekly SpaceX in the news episodes where I break down the latest information on SpaceX, become a permanent audience member by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Thank you so much for watching. Godspeed.